Hi, this is Audrey Never from French CBC. Um, the report says that Commissioner Allen specifically can't parse out the effect of environmental campaigns hampering the oil industry from the impact of the general reduction in the demand for oil and gas. So how fair is it to blame environmentalists for the loss of jobs in the oil industry, industry when we know that it is inherently a cycle of up and downs? Well, I think, uh, um, as you can see in the report, the, the, the commissioner could not conclude that the campaigns were the sole cause of uh, project cancellations. We know that market factors are a play. The problem is it's not, there's not transparency. And the problem is it's less transparent today than it was five years ago because they know that, that, uh, that we're, we're on to them, that we're tracking it, we're tracing it, we're trying to understand where their money. They've become more more, um, there's been less transparency. Um, as a follow-up, going forward, what plans does your government have to amend legislation to ensure that nonprofits um, disclose their funds, for example, or just amend legislation to um, reach the goals that you've stated just there? And how does that align with your government's stated goal of cutting red tape for organizations? That's an excellent question. Um, there's a lot of recommendations in there about uh, amendments to the Societies Act, and there's work underway. We're taking a look at all those recommendations and comparing it to our legislation. If something were to be amended that added red tape, that's not something that people would be too offended, offended about.